All living things are constantly communicating with their surrounding environment in one way or another. Within all living things, cells, tissues, and organs are constantly communicating with each other to maintain life and promote health. We human beings are all born helpless and dependent, and we are not physically equipped to survive unless we work together to gather food, build shelters, and create secure communities. All of that requires communication, the process of sharing meanings by sending and receiving messages. Communication links us with other people and enables us to solve problems and adapt to our environment. Leadership and followership are also processes for solving problems and helping a group adapt to its environment. Since leadership and followership always involve more than one person, they also depend on effective communication. Communication can take place for many different reasons and in many different ways, but the general process always reflects several key principles. First, communication is inescapable. Not only are we always communicating whether we mean to or not, it's actually impossible to not communicate. If we clam up and refuse to speak, that in itself communicates something to those around us, if only through our gestures and facial expressions. And if we isolate ourselves completely from others altogether, we are communicating something by that very decision, and we'll have great difficulty maintaining a decent life as a total hermit. Second, communication is irreversible. You can't take back a message you've already sent. When a judge tells a jury to disregard a comment by a defense lawyer or a prosecutor, the jury can't help but bear the statement in mind. And if you mean to send a private email to an intimate partner, but accidentally hit the reply all button, it won't do much good to hit it again and say, never mind. Third, communication is complex. Every time we send or receive a message, we're consciously or unconsciously taking into account an array of variables like who we think we are, who we think the other party is, who the other party thinks they are, who they think we are, and so forth. The psychological complexities of communication are daunting, even when the message is simple. Fourth, communication depends on context. It never happens in isolation. 